YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiera. If you want to see how I got my hair into this nice and clean bun, then just keep on watching. Today we're going to be using the Gorilla Earwax as well as the Gorilla Snot Gel. Alright y'all, so I've already washed my hair and detangled it. Um, if you want to know what products I use to detangle my hair, you can check out my twist out video. All the products are listed in that video. So once your hair is freshly washed, I like to slick my ponytails when my hair is freshly washed. Um, I can do it when it's dry, but it's a little bit easier when it's wet. So I've already sectioned and detangled my hair. Now I'm going to take these twists out. to um, lay like this because I've been doing it for so long so once your hair is trained to lay a certain way or fall a certain way it makes it a lot easier so I'm just going to comb out the hair from the twist and the comb is going right through again because I've already detangled my hair so once that So once that's done, we are going to go ahead and take your brush. I got this brush from the beauty supply store. I believe it was a dollar. Um, I like brushes like this because the bristles are really hard. So it, it makes it a lot easier for me to just brush it and lay my hair down. So the first thing I'm going to do is brush my hair. I have not put any gel up here. I'm just going to brush it so I can start laying it down. And again, there's already products in here. Um, Leave-in cream that I used to detangle my hair. Um, that's already in here. So that's going to help lay the hair down as well. brush the hair and as you're brushing it you're going to start pulling it back into the bun again there's no gel up here and when you have a lot of hair it can be a little difficult but just work with it take your time and just brush it back so now that we kind of have that brush back to a point where can put it and make it look like it's in a bun but the hair is not laid down that's what you want so you want your hair to be like this I already brushed back so you can put it in a bun so we're gonna let that go I know that seems kind of pointless but I promise you it's not this is how I do my hair we are going to take some of the um, Gorilla Snot Gel I love to use the yellow one because the yellow one has the best hold in my opinion and if you are using this gel and you mix this with another gel like eco it kind of takes away the hold of it so it's no good um once you start mixing them together i just like to go around like so like that and i'm gonna brush this i'm gonna work this in first and then go back and add And when it's 
wet it's just a lot easier to lay down versus when your hair is dry um, anytime I detangle my hair I wet it with the water bottle first and then detangle I never detangle it when it's completely dry Okay. And the gel is kind of like a um, pomade. It's like a um, it's like a edge control or a edge pomade. That's what the the earwax is like. So we're going to grip all this hair yet again. So make sure we're pulling all those extra hairs back. And then now we are going to take our earwax and apply that only on the edges. You don't need to put it all over your hair because again, it's like an edge control and not a gel. But it has a really nice hold to it. So we're gonna put that on the edges and you don't need that much. And with this um, edge control as well, or this earwax, um, it reactivates with water. So, um, like say for instance, a lot of the time what I'll do is, so tomorrow when I get up and I just want to lay my hair back down, I'll just spray some water on my edges and brush it back and the earwax reactivates as if it was just put up there. brush this in as well if you want to swoop your edges you can swoop them um, I would typically swoop them at the end once my hair is actually put up because it's hard to do it beforehand for myself just like that so so y'all can see how sleek it is Everything's laid down. There's not a hair out of place. Same thing over here. Everything is sleek. Not a hair out of place. Super smooth. But since my hair is trained to lay this way, um, once it dries, like the ripples or the waves will start coming in. Since I have a lot of hair, I like to use hair ties that are pretty big like this. I like to loop it like this so it's tighter. Instead of using the smaller ones, the smaller ones don't have enough elastic in them and they don't stretch as well. So if you have a lot of hair and the smaller ones break, then get the bigger ones and just loop it. And I just do it three times. Technically, that would be six times, but um, yeah, whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna run my fingers around or my hands around, make sure everything's laid down like so. And as y'all can see, everything is smooth, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. You can leave your ponytail puff out if you want, but I'm gonna put mine up. And to put it up, I'm just going to be using this mesh donut. So you take the donut and you put your hair through the hole in the middle like that. And then we're going to take our brush, no extra product, and we're just going to brush it around. going to take um, the big hair tie and loop it so it's double and just lay this right on top just like that pull it down squeeze it around to make sure all the hair is in it and tucked and tight like that and then now you're going to take the hair and just twist it around so that you can't see it. So when you're done your bun should look just like this nice and clean and tight. Now once again I'm just going back over and smoothing everything down. 
And then lastly, we don't go outside like this. We gotta put our scarf on to lay it down, make sure everything stays in place for a little bit. You can do this the night before um, you go somewhere. So typically when I do my hair for work, I wear my hair like this to work because I'm in the military. And so I like to do my hair the night before. And I put my scarf on. And this is a square. This scarf, this scarf is a square. So I like to fold it down into a triangle. Like this. You really can't see, but okay. I fold it into a triangle like that and I put it on my hair and just wrap it around nice and tight so that everything lays down and I just tie it up like this and tuck the extra along the sides, pull your ears out or you can leave them in. It's up to you. And then after that, a lot of people don't know you can do this. You take a scrunchie and with the leftover, there's two pieces because we tied it in half or folded it in half. So we're going to take, lay this one down like this, lay this one over top. your natural hair nice and sleek and slick don't forget to like this video leave the comments down below and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching